massage plus you know extra options under the food Osaka and Tokyo as well they think you know foreigners might you know increase uh, bringing foreigners into Japan would increase uh, a little bit of a more friction there's so many uh, perverted uh, Japanese guys uh, trying to make money off of those uh, young uh, women, Japanese people are a little bit more clicky and exclusive to their own group. You can tell that from you know, from the uh, Japanese word called gaijin. Gaijin means you know uh, people outside. They lack so much of an interracial, intercultural experience. So most of them are not prepared to accept. They, they don't know how to deal with uh, foreigners or immigrants when they come to Japan. Like a close personal uh, friendship with foreigners at a really deep level because of the language barrier. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about what I think Japanese people think about foreigners and then what they think about immigration, right? So I'm a Japanese born Japanese, been in Canada and the United States for the past seven and a half years. And uh, you know, I consume Japanese media news like Yahoo or uh, YouTube comments and you know, Based on what I see from those uh, comments or uh, the, the people's opinions on social medias um, or even like in the newspapers, as far as I understand, many Japanese people tend to be a more or less reluctant to accept uh, foreigners or immigrants uh, to Japanese society. It's because Many Japanese people think or have experienced personally or professionally that uh, many uh, foreign workers coming from uh, neighboring, uh, neighboring countries such as uh, Korea, Taiwan, China, Philippines, Vietnam, uh, Thailand, those uh, they tend to have a uh, they tend to you know from Japanese uh, perspe uh, perspe uh, like, you know, perce uh, perception. Uh, there are many uh, illegal uh, foreign workers working at uh, uh, night industry like um, a pub, um, um, I would say a uh, massage place or you know some kind of a, uh, involving uh, sexual prostitution as well as um, human trafficking. Um, and it's not all, you know, their fault. You know, some of those Japanese guys are have been arrest, arrested for human trafficking uh, from uh, 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 um, girls from like Philippines and stuff. And it's, there's so many uh, perverted uh, Japanese guys, you know, basically uh, trying to make money off of those uh, young uh, women. Um, so those Japanese guys are to be blamed by from people's perception. Um, because many uh, foreign workers are working at those industries and uh, not many uh, foreigners were uh, have been integrated into a uh, ja uh, Japanese society like you know white color um, uh, job so people's perception of foreigners tend to be a little you know lower compared to Japanese people so what that mean is that you know they might be assuming, Japanese people might be assuming, more or less, that foreigners might increase crime rate because, you know, people working in Japan, like foreigners, tend to be more or less, like, you know, blue color or in the night industry and they might be doing some shady stuff, right, to make money, to, to make ends meet. So if you go to, like, you know, uh, Tokyo, like uh, Kabukicho or uh, even Shibuya, um, there are so many uh, Taiwanese 
I've met, I've seen many like Taiwanese um, uh, old lady, like 30 years old, 35, 40 years old, like called Mama, um, that the owner of those uh, massage place, and they try to to uh, to bring those uh, salaryman uh, guys walking on the street back to their massage place, and they have like younger uh, Taiwanese girls or I don't know where they're from, but uh, Chinese or Korean, you know, uh, young workers to do massage plus, you know, extra options under the food. And I, I saw many in um, Osaka and Tokyo as well. So, so because of that, you know, the perception of, uh, of uh, our foreign workers' uh, status in society is uh, relatively slow, uh, lower than Japanese uh, people. So, so they think you know foreigners might you know increase uh, bringing foreigners into Japan would increase uh, a little bit of a more friction between uh, uh, between Japanese and foreigners, as well as increasing crime rate, increasing uh, uh, increasing misunderstanding, and maybe a more conflict and you know, friction, and maybe you know more violence. And basically, Japanese people are a little bit more clicky and exclusive to their own group. You can tell that from you know, from the uh, Japanese word called gaijin. Gaijin means you know a people outside, basically, if translated directly. So they're clicky in, in in nature. Their their whole like you know, thing is whole like pretty homogeneous country, and people tend to be in their own group, and they're not as casual and open and uh, um, 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 I would say laid back. As some of those people that you see in the West Coast in North America, like California and stuff, so you can kind of understand the reason why you know Japanese people are worried and not so um, willing to uh, uh, accept so many foreigners because first of all, language barrier is kind of scary, right? You see, uh, people obviously Japan is homogeneous country, so Japanese people like. Typical traditional what society think is Japanese people are uh, uh, ethnically Japanese. What that means is that it's not that they just have a Japanese passport; it's that in more than just passport. It means that they look Japanese. Traditional, you know, meaning of Japanese as you know, like Asian face and Japanese ethnicity, and you know, they look the same as traditional Japanese people. It's changing a little bit, you know, these days because of so many uh, uh, um, interracial dating and couples and a lot more hapas these days. So there are, uh, you know, more half Japanese, like ethnically half Japanese and half like, you know, Western or whatnot. But still, majority of Japanese people think and consider Japanese as ethnically Japanese. So. So if you if they see uh, different uh, if, if they see people from different kind of country different ethnicity, they might be a little bit you know a little bit like they might be a little choked when they cannot communicate with those people and when they cannot understand you know how they behave based on their different culture right so and then because it's a frustration for them because they cannot speak English well so it is harder to understand what other people's expectation what other people's you know cultural norm is so there's a going to be a friction and you know in Japan you know understand other, other people it's it's pretty uh, implicit and you know, understanding other people is pretty implicit so they don't really uh, you know square off to each other and then talk quite assertively and you know aggressively so so many stuff they they, they the way they communicate is pretty implicit and a subtle so so when when foreigners come in from totally different expectation and the culture and when communicating and the Japanese people are on the on the other side on the other hand uh, uh, basically have been living in Japan for their entire life, communicating in a way that you know other Japanese people also communicate, which is kind of like really explicit, not not explicit, not direct way, and then they kind of need to respect other people by just uh, understanding or like reading people's eyes, people's uh, emotions, and the group dynamics, and it's all that you know that implicit uh, uh, communication. 
has been done in Japanese society, so that makes it a little, a little bit harder for especially those you know, conventional, traditional, older Japanese people to accept other uh, people from different cultures and then the other foreigners integrate into the Japanese society because, you know, uh, realistically, on a daily life, you know, foreigners want to come work at uh, a Japanese workplace, but most of Japanese workplaces' bosses and those employees, they are made up of, uh, you know, old Japanese people, and they cannot change their way of thinking about and understand people or communicating with the foreigners. So it is going to be really hard for a foreigners coming to Japan and really integrate themselves into Japanese society. And that's the reason why, you know, there's a sh so much gap, you know, between uh, uh, Japanese and foreigners on a personal level. And that, I think, uh, brings up, uh, I mean, like, increases their perception of uh, their fear against uh, foreigners. Like, you know, not being able to understand, not being able to sympathize, not being able to emphasize with other people. And that, I, I think, in turn, um, increase hostility uh, of Japanese people against other people. Like, there are quite a bit of a hostility against Chinese people because, you know, Japanese and uh, Chinese have been kind of like fighting each, uh, against each other uh, because of the historic issue. And there are many Japanese stores in China being uh, really, you know, broken. I mean, like, there are so many Japanese stores' windows really uh, are broken by Chinese people, like throwing stones and stuff in China because of the. Uh, because of the uh, 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 angry Chinese people there. So, and it, when that news circulates in Japan, many Japanese people in those uh, media, like comments, they, they get pretty angry. And also, a Japanese broadcast uh, company, TV broadcast companies, uh, uh, feature those incidents quite a bit because China, Korea, uh, North Korea, Japanese medias want to, to, to be uh, pretty. Uh, it's it's one of those things that that that, that they cannot uh, get away with from a daily life because of that you know historic ties and stuff. So so media is gonna uh, uh, throw that kind of stuff, and uh, obviously Japanese people is gonna be influenced, and that that kind of creates um, uh, a certain way of thinking against you know certain people in certain countries. So so basically um, you know. It is hard for Japanese people to understand uh, foreigners perspective, uh, uh, what it's like to live in a different country, uh, what it's like to speak different language and uh, culture, uh, experience cultural norm. It's really hard to have a day-to-day -day, like a close personal uh, friendship with foreigners at a really deep level because of the language barrier and you know that makes up uh, the a whole bunch of the reasons why Japanese people tend to be less uh, willing to accept immigrants and foreigners and uh, doesn't mean that they are not friendly to uh, uh, foreigners at all. Some of them are pretty friendly but you know again because of the language barrier and uh, you know their personal experience like in a par their first 20 years they grew up not really interacting or having any friends from country where they don't speak Japanese right so so you know um so i think many people i guess it's not that they're it's their fault but it's just that they lack so much of a interracial intercultural experience so most of them are not prepared to accept they, they don't know how to deal with a, a foreigners or immigrants when they come to japan right so even if they're physically, uh, you know, living in a close uh, uh, location, even if they're working in the same company, phys uh, physically though, the mentally, psychologically, uh, they are a little bit quite distant. Um, I, I feel like, and so so that's you know basic uh, demographics about you know, Japanese people, you know where they are coming from and how they feel, how they experience. They are not prepared. You know, they are not well equipped with. Uh, those kind of uh, multicultural experiences, and they don't know uh, what kind of uh, you know the issues that those foreigners would go through, because most of Japanese people have never really lived in a different country, you know. Except some of those you know Japanese people have all, of course been to Hawaii or Guam or you know France, uh, Paris or London, but just you know those are just a uh, uh, trip for like five days, and that doesn't count really. 
So, you know, this is my just you know, my observations and uh, what I have uh, what I have seen as I uh, grew up in Japan, went through whole education systems and go uh, you know kind of kind of seen by uh, in a first hand uh, Japanese media's uh, interpret interpretation of uh, foreigners and immigrants and uh, most of those opinions and you know articles uh, those ideas have been been uh, um, been created among those older people who have been like projecting or um, basically producing that kind of articles and a TV uh, that the way they kind of broadcast you know some incidents and obviously politicians as well so um, it's, 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 you know, one thing to be political and one thing to be, you know, just personal level, but, you know, from, uh, society as a whole perspective, there are so many, uh, more older Japanese people than younger Japanese, and, and there are many, uh, conservative people as well, so, even if younger, uh, Japanese people might be open, quite open, because of the social media and stuff, and more traveling abroad, the older, like 30, 40, 50, 60 years old Japanese people would be definitely not so open, definitely not so open to uh, accepting foreigners because they just cannot accept a uh, difference. They tend to be less, you know, open to embrace a difference and uniqueness of individual personalities. You know, they have been uh, uh, taught they have been taught to be uh, to be to follow the heart, to be a sheep, not be a wolf. Don't you know sp speak up with your own mind. Just you know, be submissive and and work for a company and a boss for like 30, 40, 50 years, and just be a yes man for the especially older uh, Japanese people like 30, 40, right? Even 25 right now still. So that's uh, you know the kind of basic uh, backgrounds that I can give you based on my uh, observations and information and my living experience as well. Um, um, so that's that you know I will just uh, stop here because you know those are my uh, opinions based on my observations and uh, I want to warn you that nothing that I've said so far is anything extreme or black and white I've always you know uh, being careful about saying stuff I never want to make anything in a black and white and extreme I've always been you know, mentioning about facts with relativity you know more or less you know so Japanese people are definitely more or less on the side of you know being conservative and clicky and exclusive and a little bit more unprepared to to face and uh, interact with foreigners because they are uh, the homogeneous cultural uh, uh, history and uh, language barrier, and uh, just you know, they are not really open uh, open to uh, embracing you know the uh, embracing the difference. And it, in, at the point, you know, you can say that's Japanese, but you know, on the other side, on the other hand, uh, on the other hand, uh, it's a little bit you know behind and uh, the latest uh, uh, you know developed countries trends embracing and you know pursuing personal happiness and supporting and but anyways thank you guys for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed uh this video got any uh, some information out of this if you have any questions you know if i if 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 something that i said i'll uh, write uh, bring uh, brought um uh, raise your curiosity let me know like in the comment section and if you like this video like subscribe and share my videos and i'll see you next time bye bye Matane.